Hi, I'm Leslie. I volunteer in the Charles Gardner Cancer Centre um, and I, I essentially I meet and greet pa um, patients. I'm Ian. I volunteer at the um, Crawford Lodge Gardens. I do the gardening here, keep the gardening up to date. Yeah, I'm Peter Scott. Um, I'm one of the drivers. Uh, Tuesday driver is my role. Um, working out of Milroy and uh, Crawford. My name is Gül Erkin. I'm from Turkey. I'm a dermatologist in uh, Turkey. Um, I volunteer at Cancer Council um, in the uh, Cancer Smart team. Back in my old days, I was a nurse with an interest in oncology, so it made sense. I put the two things together, and this is and I thoroughly enjoy talking to people so this this seemed like a good a good plan for me. I had throat cancer 10 years ago and I'm still here so <laughs> um, and my wife has had breast cancer still has so we know the sort of um, services that are required to look after you fully and uh, it just thought I could sort of give something back not much because I enjoy gardening. <laughs> My wife uh, was actually working, she still does, um, uh, in the uh, Wig Library and uh, she'd been through the um, breast cancer scenario so I thought it was just nice to be able to give something back. I'd um, just retired from my work um, early um, so I had a little bit more time um, so Tuesdays was, was easy. Well, I just uh, would like to uh if possible, contribute uh, my education and background knowledge to the skin cancers uh, uh, in, uh, in the context of Cancer Council. And um, also, uh, I lost my uh, mother to cancer uh, myself and I know uh, how it affects the person and also the whole family. So I would love to uh, do so uh, something to improve uh, cancer research, education, or uh, improve anything regarding to patients' lives, uh, I would be definitely delighted. It's an awful lot for myself. I hope I'm making a small difference along the line for other people. But um, for me, it's an absolute privilege, to be honest, um, to be in the middle of people's lives, sometimes at a lot of the worst stages that they could ever be. Um, and it, I find it amazing that I'm actually there and able to listen to them and be um, part of their lives for a very short period. And I, don't, I never know really who they are or I often don't know the end of their journey, but for a very short time, I actually am a little bit part of that. And I, that's, it's enormous for me. Well, I, I, like, I like to see the place looking good and it's nice to have the, um uh, guests walking around and saying that they, they like all the flowers and all the greenery and it sort of calms them down at a very difficult time. So, And they also give me a hand, they give them something to do, they can wash or sweep or just clean up generally. So. I, I, it's great actually, I mean meeting, I'm a townie, I was born in London and um, lived half my life there so and um, the last 30 odd years in Australia, but um, not out in the bush. Um, talking to country people, their way of life um, is really interesting and it's just nice to be able to talk to people. Mostly, I think contributing. Contributing something that you gained as an experience or as a thought uh, and also you so you will just bring these experiences or wishes or attempts to uh, volunteering and given to society or the organization who uh, makes a good uh, contribution to the population.